Now to the latest on the bridge collapse in Baltimore. CBS Philadelphia's Kerry Corrado joins me now. And Kerry, search and rescue has turned to recovery. Yugi, good evening. This has been and still is a massive multi-agency response to the bridge collapse. Authorities say the divers exhausted all options in their search for the missing workers. Divers making a tragic discovery as they battle the bitter cold waters and searched endlessly to find the six construction workers who were on the Francis Scott Key Bridge when it collapsed on Tuesday. Divers located a red pickup truck submerged in approximately 25 feet of water in the area of the middle span of the bridge. Divers recovered two victims of this tragedy trapped within the vehicle. Along with those two people, CASA, an organization that helps Latino families in the area, says 49-year-old Miguel Luna and 34-year-old Maynard Sandoval are also among the presumed dead. They both lived in the Baltimore area for nearly 20 years. They say Luna was an immigrant from El Salvador and was married with three children. Sandoval was from Honduras and had dreams of starting his own business. He was also married with two children. We know that they love their families and the community. We know that they were, both of them, extra ordinary human beings. On Tuesday, the nearly 1,000-foot cargo ship known as the Dolly lost power and hit the bridge, causing it to collapse within seconds. Navigating around the wreckage has been a challenge which forced crews to switch from a recovery operation to a salvage operation. Because of the superstructure surrounding what we believe are the vehicles and the amount of concrete and debris, divers are no longer able, able to safely navigate or operate around that. Once that salvage effort takes place and that superstructure is removed, those same divers are going to go back out there and bring those people closure. Baltimore's port is one of the busiest on the East Coast. The governor says the port handles more cars and more farm equipment than any other port in the country. He says last year the port handled $80 billion worth of foreign cargo. Authorities say they know they have a long road ahead. But despite this task ahead of us being daunting, I can tell you right now, our resolve is unshaken. We will get to completion. We will do it together. Agents with the NTSB recovered the ship's recorder and interviewed the crew aboard that ship. The Navy also has been called in to help clear the debris. The mayor of Baltimore says they are trying to open the channel as quickly as possible and want to make sure it's done the right way. Yugi. And Kerry, as you alluded to, that bridge collapse has led to the abrupt shutdown of one of the largest ports on the eastern seaboard. Officials in our area say some of the cargo bound for Baltimore will now be diverted here. The South Jersey Port Corporation is already taking in a few ships that were diverted from Baltimore, but it could soon be more. And across the river, Philip Port officials say they have a few diversions scheduled as well. But it's not just ports that will be affected. Local trucking companies say they will also be taking on extra work. You have to look at what you, what you have coming in, uh, what your inventory is in, you, in, you, in your space, and how much you can accommodate. If it becomes a long-term thing, then you know we're going to start seeing congested roadways. We're going to start seeing just longer wait times in the port, and it's just going to it's going to kind of snowball from there. While local reports say they can handle the increase in volume in the short term, there are concerns the longer the closure lasts. The incident in Baltimore has sparked renewed fears that some have about crossing bridges. However, there is assistance available for those who need it. The Delaware River and Bay Authority has an escort program focused on helping to put travelers at ease before going across a bridge. Uh, I usually tell people to just focus on the road. It's the same road in front of you as you get out back on the highway once you cross the bridge. So just focus on the road and you'll be okay. The agency is anticipating more requests after what happened in Baltimore. Anyone in need of assistance can call the Delaware River and Bay Authority ahead of time to get an escort. We will continue to bring you the very latest on recovery efforts in the aftermath of the key bridge collapse on air and online.